Welcome to Fantastic Feast. I'm your host, Twee Fan. Today we're going to taste a little bit of the tropics. And by that I mean we're going to do a garlic shrimp in the pineapple. And the reason why I love doing this dish is because the presentation is insane. Anybody who sees anything in a pineapple boat, they just automatically love it whether it's good or not. But when you have garlic and shrimp um, and furikake on top of rice, it's going to be a fantastic meal. What I have here is a pineapple and you want to pick one that has some yellow to it and um, that is ripe but not too mushy um, so that it still holds its shape. So if you find one with a nice crown when you cut it, it just has a little bit more of drama to it. So um, look for that. And then I have here about one and a half pounds of shrimp. Um, it's deveined. You want it with the shell on. And here I have about three to four tablespoons of flour. And then I have garlic. Well, you need a ton of garlic. We'll mince that up. And then here I have some paprika and then cayenne pepper. Um, I also have here some green onions for the end and then we'll also put some furikake or some um, toppings at the end just to kind of finish it off. So it's going to be a really good meal. I did it for myself and I absolutely love this dish. And what we're going to do with this pineapple is we're going to cut it lengthwise like this and then we'll start um, carving it out. So you want to just find the middle. Make sure you have a really sharp knife. Make the incision. I just want to make sure. And you're going to cut right through the stem too. It's a beautiful pineapple. So now that you have half of your pineapple, what you're going to do, this is the way that I find has been the easiest for me, and is that you're going to make an incision here and kind of do a square. But make sure you don't cut through. This pineapple is so juicy, I can tell it's golden and just perfect. So right here is the core of the pineapple. We don't eat that part of it because it's too stringy um, and fibrous. So what I always do is I save this and then I juice it um, so that no part of it is wasted. So what I like to do is you can look at it and you can see right here. So I like to make like a square here so that we cut that part out. And then I like to make cubes. Just kind of helps with the cutting later. Okay. So now you can kind of see, I've kind of made it so that it's kind of like a checkerboard. So what you want to do next is take a, a tablespoon and start to just carve it out. It comes out like that and you have a bowl. Beautiful. This way we try to save as much of the pineapple and don't waste it, but I'll show you what to do with the extra pineapple that you end up having so that we can make many, many meals. And I think pineapple is just one of those ingredients that pretty much anything you make with pineapple is going to be delicious. And it's so tropical. Okay, so these, when we take it out, I'm going to cut off the middles core. And then Perfectly sweet. So good. So there you have it. This is the inside of the pineapple. It's carved and that didn't take very long for us to do at all. So we're going to do that to the second pineapple and then 
that will set aside while we do the shrimp. So this is the part that I'm talking about that the core, you just wanna save this to juice so that we don't end up wasting it. But we don't use it because it's too fibrous. And actually this we can cut a little bit smaller for us to add to our pineapple bowl later on. As you can tell, this dish has a lot of pineapple. We're not gonna use all of it for the uh, pineapple garlic shrimp, but what we will do with the rest of it is make a really delicious pina colada so that um, every part of this pineapple gets used and you have a really wonderful tropical meal at the end. So we'll set that aside as well. Um, so what I'll do next is I will prep the um, green onions and then also the garlic so that we can set that aside and then we'll do the shrimp. really just want the green parts. You want to cut this as thinly as possible. You can cut it at a diagonal if you want something a little bit more uh, presentation friendly or you can just go straight across. It's kind of preference, but just make sure it's as thin as possible. but you need a lot of garlic, maybe 10 to 15 cloves. And garlic is actually kind of the star of this show in the sense that it really makes that shrimp so yummy. But yeah, you can't really go kissing anybody afterwards with all this garlic, but that's why you make it for both of you, so then everybody can be garlicky together. Okay, now our garlic's done. Probably won't need all of this, but you can kind of gauge it to how much you want. Okay, now all our chopping is done and out of the way and I'll show you how to peel and take care of the shrimp. So this shrimp is already de-veined as you can see, but the thing is what we wanna do to this is um, give it an even bigger slit because when you slit it even more, it allows the shrimp to curl more when it cooks. So the presentation is a little bit better. So you just wanna deepen that. And I also like to remove the uh, tail so this is the shrimp you're left with. It's not hard at all, but I think each uh, boat will probably hold between six to 10 shrimp, but that's really loading it up. But see, so you're kind of just butterflying it even more. Makes life a lot easier when it's already de-veined, but if you had just a whole shrimp, it would be the same process, but you'd have to peel out the um, intestines. So. In this dish, the more traditional way to serve it is with a Hawaiian mac salad, but today we're just gonna do rice because I wanna keep it a little bit healthier, but you can always make that as well and add that to it if you want something a little bit creamier and luscious, so. Now what we'll do is we'll add the flour and the paprika all together. And because I like it a little spicy, I add cayenne. Um, if you're making this for kids, you can omit that. I just wanna mix that up. add our shrimp and just toss it so there's a light coating on there. Okay. Okay. 
You want to just shake the excess flour. Just make sure it's coated on the inside as well. So since we're not going to use all of this pineapple, what I'm going to do now is take some of it and freeze it for our next dish, which is going to be an amazing pina colada. So we have fresh frozen pineapple chunks. So we'll save some for that amazingness. So I'll go ahead and put this in the freezer while we finish up this dish for the next dish. And this I'll set aside too for us to juice later. So. So now we're ready to start frying our shrimp. So what you want to do is turn your heat on, medium high heat. Uh, what you want to do is add a little bit of oil. And then you also need butter. This is a very decadent dish, but let me tell you, it's really worth it. So don't worry about the butter content and just enjoy it because it's going to be really worth it. in there. So what I like to do is get the garlic in there and let it fry up so it's nice and golden brown and then I'll take out the garlic bits so that it doesn't burn and then we will cook our shrimp so it's nice and crispy and then add it all together at the end. Yeah, okay. There you go. fragrant. Our garlic out, our butters in there. Get our shrimp in there. And shrimp cooks really fast, so you want to give each one a couple minutes on each side, and then turn it. I'd like to add a little bit more paprika and some cayenne pepper for color. And then you can do a little salt and pepper too. And a little cayenne. I'm just going to add a little bit more butter to this. Take these guys out. And we'll finish cooking the others and then we'll toss it all together. Oh my goodness. Looks insane. Yeah. 
So now our shrimp is all fried and what we're going to do is toss it all together with the garlic butter sauce so that it can be ready to be scooped in. And once that's done, all we have to do is put it all together. So just a little bit more butter. This is my garlic that I had fried earlier and I separated it from our sauce because then it would have burnt if you kept it in there. So we'll add it all together now. Add all our shrimp. Yeah. Toss that in there. And then we'll add our garlic. Yeah. Amazing. And now we're ready to plate. So I'll get our rice out and get this all going. I have here some brown rice and traditionally you should use white rice, but I'm just making this a little bit healthier. So feel free to use white rice or brown rice, whichever you want. And what you want to do is scoop in some rice and then we'll add the shrimp and the pineapple and then finish it off. Okay. Two scoops. Now we'll add our shrimp. So decadent. Okay. It's getting there, getting there. Now we'll add our pineapple. Now, if you don't have furikake at home, you can just take seaweed and just cut it up into little strips and add a little bit of sesame seeds, and that would kind of do the same. It's kind of just topping and makes the rice a little bit more. Yeah. Then I'm going to cut a piece or wedge of lemon. Now it's time for the taste test. I can't wait. So let me eat this guy. All for me. I'll take this guy. I'm afraid this is not going to be very pretty, but okay. Mm. Mm. That's so good. It's so garlicky, buttery. It has a nice little kick from the cayenne. Mmm. What a meal. I love it. Some pineapple. All right. Mmm. This is so good. It's like I went to Hawaii without leaving my house. Fabulous. That is a perfect meal. For lunch, dinner, invite your friends over. It's going to be a crowd pleaser for sure.